up guys, GK with Corbin's Archery here in Lubbock. Today, product review time of the new UltraView. Three pin with a floater for whatever you wanna call it, scope. They're clean looking XL housing, but we have our three horizontal pins with their new addition of that vertical. Brand new site to hit the market. We're gonna assemble it. I'm gonna talk through the key features and then uh, kind of show you guys what I like about it and uh, go from there. All right, so we got our scope housing here. I'm gonna assemble it. Personal opinion, I think it pairs best with the HHA accessories. So I'm gonna go with the HHA adapter and then the long bar of the Tetra. Um, you can run the short, that's also an option, but just along for this video, first thing we're gonna do is get this little adapter out, which is a micro adjust adapter for specifically made for the UV scopes. Busted out of the bag here, that HHA is made and it's just a little little piece that clamps onto the scope and then onto the sight rail itself. Um, we'll get this assembled here onto the scope and show you how all that sets up. Same kind of design as their other scopes, so nothing different there. You still have just a few set screws holding the scope. There we go, the scope comes out and then we'll take our little side rail piece here. You see how this is kind of squared off, kind of like an octagon looking deal here fits just like in that hole there, and it'll just mount in there. Then you'll take your little set screw, run it through, get it started. All right, we got our screw in there. We got it met up with our micro adjust adapter here. Just getting it super snug. There we go. So now our adapter piece is on there, and then all you'll do is just take your scope and slide it right back to where it was. And you don't wanna over tighten these because they can actually end up cracking the plastic and making it bulge out, but just enough where there's not a lot of rattling going on and voila, we're set there. Next, we're gonna take it to the Tetra bar and mount it itself. And the easy way to do that, you got two little screws on the side here with this little odd shaped little rail. We'll just break those open just a hair. You don't need them all the way out. You just need them loose enough to where you can wiggle it in between and then it just slides down into that rail, and then we'll tighten that back up. Break open, go to zero, zero it out, and there you go. Something I wanna show y'all on why we prefer this setup with HHA and Ultra the best. I love how they give you so much adjustment. So right here is gonna be your winded adjustment. You'll break this open, and you actually have little notches to where I can slide your side out or you can slide it in, you know, what, however far you need it. Um, and then once that's there, then you can make your fine adjustment. It has the built-in micro adjust to where you can dial that in and get your fine adjustment there. So max adjustment going on here, easy second and third axis leveling on these scopes um, and these sight bars themselves. Really love the sight bar and the pairing that HHA and Ultraview have done together here to make this the best, in my opinion, setup for each other. Now onto the Ultraview scope itself. Ultraview knocked this one out of the park thinking about the Hunter here. Um, you know, a lot of their sites had the single pin or double pin or even the target kit, but this is a perfect site for the Hunter. Um, still with your light technology that uh, Ultraview is known for there, um, where you can dim it, make it brighter, however. But they were thinking about the Hunter here by giving you two pins in the 19 thousandths uh, diameter up top and then the middle. So we're looking at that top red and the middle green. And then it slims down to that 10th diameter, third pin and fourth pin. So you have your three pins that run horizontal here and that's gonna be your set yardage. So that's thinking of the Hunter there as far as, okay, a guy likes to have his set pins just in case that animal comes out within. He doesn't have to rover, doesn't have to change. If you got him set, say 20, 30, 40, you're good to go. But then they gave you that floater option to well, to where if he comes in a little bit further, you have that option to rover that site with that floater pin, that vertical look. Quick adjustment there, smooth knob on the HHA, but a really good site designed by Ultraview. And then you can get your spacing here. They have two little set screws moving those pins up and down, getting it set exactly how you like it. So come check this out. We have them at both locations, a really solid site by Ultraview and uh, something you don't want to miss. Thanks guys.